Now, when we breathe normally, we use vegetative breath. But when we breathe for performance, we use the diaphragm. Now, the diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle that is attached to the bottom of your rib cage. And it's controlled by the abdominal muscles and the intercostal muscles, which sit between your ribs. So when the air enters your lungs, the intercostal muscles contract and they enable the rib cage to move upwards and outwards and they flatten the diaphragm so that there's more capacity within your rib cage for your lungs to fill with air. When the air leaves the lungs, it, uh, the intercostal muscles converge and the abdominal muscles contract. This enables the diaphragm to rise and compresses the lungs so that the air moves up through the trachea and through the voice box. And then obviously once the air goes over the voice box, through the voice box, over the vocal cords, they vibrate, which creates sound. Now those are all muscles, abdominal, intercostal, diaphragm, and your vocal cords are actually muscles too. So these just need practice in order to uh, make sure that you can take enough breath in. Because as you all know, when we get nervous, our breath gets shallow and if we find it difficult to breathe. And if you can practice doing this quite regularly, then it will enable you to make sure that your breath is there to support your voice. So you can actually get through a whole sentence without having to take a breath in between. So the exercise I'm going to ask you to do right now is to just take your middle fingers and place them together and then just place your hands with those middle fingers just below your belly button. Now when you breathe deeply, you're going to feel those fingers move apart. Now when we're out of breath, we've been running or walking fast or doing any kind of exercise, we quite naturally breathe with our diaphragm. But when anybody asks you to breathe in, you automatically do this, which restricts the amount of capacity that you have in your lungs because it, uh, we compress our rib cage by doing that and we tense across here. So what I'd like you to do is really imagine that you're blowing up a huge balloon inside your tummy. So as you breathe in, as I say, with these fingers below your belly button, you should just feel those fingers move apart if you're breathing into the right space. So I'm going to ask you to do this uh, about three or four times and on the out breath to just drop the mouth and do an ah sound. It doesn't need to be a beautiful song-like note. It just is to release the air with some control. So if you can stand again nice and relaxed for me, hip, uh, feet hip width apart, shoulders back and down, and then just take your fingers together, place them underneath your belly button, and take a nice deep breath in through your nose so that you can feel your fingers move apart. So your shoulders shouldn't move, just a nice deep breath in. So that your fingers move apart and then back out. Ah. And as the, as the air leaves your lungs, you should feel your fingers come back together and you should feel your abdominal muscles actually contracting. And when you're ready, take another deep breath in. Feel that balloon in your tummy. So your stomach should be uh, quite unflatteringly out here. And then as you breathe out, push the breath out with control. Uh, you should see that your stomach comes back in. And relax. and fingers below your belly button again. Take a nice deep breath in. Feel your stomach expand and then a breath out. Ah, the fingers come back together, the abdominal muscles contract and you should see and feel that your stomach goes back in. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you to do that. Uh, we'll do it two more times with the R ah breath and uh, or you can just go through that with me without me speaking. So when you're ready, take a nice deep breath in. Uh, uh, 
deep breath in. Ah. That's it. Breathe normally. Excellent. Now, if you can practice doing that quite regularly, you will notice that as the muscles get stronger and you get better at doing this, then the out breath will last longer. So maybe uh, count. So count the breath out, see how long your breath can go before you have to stop. Don't go too far, we don't want you dropping and keeling over. But yeah, just let the breath go as, uh, as, long, as much breath as you've got. Feel those abdominals really contracting, feel your intercostal muscles uh, con converging so that the air is actually pushed up and outwards. And with all of that practice, your muscles should get stronger and you will be able to support your breath better. So hopefully that was useful. If you've got any comments uh, or if you would like to like this video, then, then put them down below. And I hope to see you here again with more tips and techniques and uh, ways that you can use your voice because after all, your voice is your greatest tool. So from me, Jackie Goddard, Power to Speak. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.